An intriguing, mysterious and reportedly extremely promising cloud of possibility surrounds the largely black and unknown sixth-generation aircraft, an already airborne stealth platform expected to completely change the paradigm in the realm of speed, AI, sensing, weapons and overall air supremacy. For understandable security reasons, the Pentagon is pretty quiet about its sixth-generation plans in an effort to protect its potential future air superior. A stealthy, supersonic, semi-autonomous sixth-gen fighter maneuvers undetected through heavily armed enemy airspace, evades radar detection to jam the adversary's command and control systems with EW weapons, gather, analyze and transmit targeting data across huge areas of terrain in milliseconds using AI-empowered computing, launch and operate groups of nearby mini-drones, fire air-launched hypersonic missiles and then, incinerate enemy aircraft with fighter jet-fired precision laser weapons all while flying too quickly at hypersonic speed and too stealthily to be targeted. Taking this hypothetical mission yet another step farther, what if the 6th Gen fighter not only performed many of its missions with complete autonomy but also operated with a kind of self-regenerating coating or even composite armor which used synthetic biology to essentially regenerate and restore external structures lost or damaged by enemy fire? The concept of regenerating armor has not been mentioned or suggested by the Pentagon when it comes to 6th Gen, yet the technology is something of great relevance now being pursued by several of DoD's research laboratories. The alignment and collective execution of these now-in-development technical attributes rests almost entirely on the continued pace of Pentagon and industry innovation now striving to prepare for and anticipate the unknown, if not even somewhat mysterious, future warfare environment. Making these things happen, and integrating them to one another such that they complement one another in a coordinated fashion, requires visionary thinking, some amount of guessing and a delicate blending of art and science combining the best conceptual theorizing with early evidence of scientific promise. Generally speaking, these are the kinds of innovations now being explored by the Pentagon, senior weapons developers and some of its key industry partners such as Lockheed Martin Skunk Works and Raytheon's Advanced Concepts and Technology Division. A single major contractor may build the U.S. Air Force's next-generation air dominance (NGAD) sixth-generation stealth fighter, with a decision expected sometime next year, according to reports. Specifics on timing and contracting are not likely available given that the program is largely secret, but there are indications that a decision is coming soon. It is a decision of great consequence. The chosen vendor will build a paradigm-changing new stealth fighter jet likely to propel U.S. supremacy over the skies into the coming decades. During a podcast on Vago Muradian's defense and aerospace report cited in the drive, a leading expert from the Teal Group consultancy said the Air Force competition comprises three vendors, two of which are now asterisk six under development deals, the final winner slated to build the NGAD will be announced sometime next year, according to this report. Official details regarding plans and schedules for the NGAD have not been announced, so it is possible that the Teal Group expert's suggestion was just a guess, the program and vendor participants have confirmed nothing. The Air Force itself has indicated that a production and development decision for NGAD is expected sometime in 2024. Pacific and European NGAD Variants Demonstrator aircraft of the NGAD have been airborne for more than a year now. This development captured the national imagination, as the public was previously unaware that an aircraft had actually taken to the sky. Choosing among the competitors is of momentous importance, given that Russia and China, as well as several other countries, are reportedly making progress building sixth-generation stealth aircraft of their own. What is at stake is nothing less than the ability to establish air supremacy. The force that achieves air superiority will of course be extremely well positioned to prevail in any large-scale conflict, so it seems likely that the NGAD will operate in a multi-domain capacity connecting space, surface, air, and land nodes to one another across a joint operating environment. While the Defense and Aerospace Report related to the Air Force NGAD, the US Navy's F-AXX NGAD effort is also underway, and it certainly seems possible that a different vendor could be chosen for each variant. Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Brown has said there may indeed be two separate variants of the sixth-generation aircraft, perhaps one meant for the Pacific and another for Europe. A variant for the Pacific, for instance, might be larger, and thus able to hold more fuel for longer missions across the expansive Pacific region. A European NGAD would likely not need as much refueling. There might also be a carrier-launched Navy variant that differs from the platform chosen by the Air Force. Essentially, there might be several opportunities for different major contractors to participate, even if only one vendor is chosen to build the Air Force NGAD. Do we need 6th Gen? The F-35 brings stealth, 
paradigm-changing sensors, and a new generation of AI-enabled computing and the F-22 brings unparalleled thrust-to-weight ratio, speed, and air-to-air -air combat superiority. Both platforms are positioned such that they can be upgraded and improved decisively in the coming years as computing, sensing, and targeting technologies emerge. Both the F-35 and F-22 have already been enhanced to paradigm-changing levels through software upgrades that enhance drone controls, weapons delivery, sensing range, fidelity, and onboard computing. Thank you for watching, see you again in the next video.